So we've got one bud in here, and Ed's going to put in a second. And where do you put the second one? So I just moved down a couple inches. I'm going to orient it a little more around this way, I think, this time. Um, so I'm going to put it right in here. So again, I'm going to make a T-bud uh, graft. So I start by making a cut, horizontal cut, about an eighth of an inch into the trunk. And then a vertical cut without hurting myself. And then I'm going to take these corners, reach in there, and peel back. It's about a sixteenth of an inch. I'm getting into the middle of the Cambrian layer because that's where the active cell division is, where the growth is of the plant. And that's what I want the bud to be in contact, the, the same layers in the, in the bud wood, the Cambrian layer of the bud wood, to be in contact there. So here's the um, piece of bud wood again. And again, I'm going to make a square cut at the top. And then I'm going to slice out just about a third of the diameter of this. I'm just going to cut underneath this bud and wind up with a chip of wood that um, has the bud on it. All right, hold on a sec. Let me get over here so you can see. trick is to find it okay so here's the bud the square top you can see I've sliced off about a third of it and now we can see the Cambrian layers of the um, of the bud wood so again I'm gonna stick it behind the Push it down in here. Until that, until the square part of the bud wood is just below the lip that I made from that horizontal cut. And so now we can wrap it with tape. Again, I'm pulling the tape, stretching the tape as I wrap it so that it's got positive pressure pressing the budwood cambrian layers into the cambrian layers of the, of the trunk. And I carefully crisscross here, leaving the bud exposed so that it can push shoot out and then you come back what every five days to recut the um, the cuts, the cuts on the cuts lower part the of the trunk, yeah, that relieve the hydraulic pressure, because they will, the plant will seal those up. the The water, the fluid that's coming out, will gel, and will seal it up just like a blood clot or blood a cut in your skin will. The blood will clot and, and seal up. So. Okay, so here's our two new buds.
Here's our little helper, Pino. 